What's up guys, Brian here with BPS Customs. Today we're taking a look at a brand new case from NZXT, the S340 Elite. Now what makes this case elite, you might ask? Tempered glass. While not the largest case manufacturer in the custom PC space, NZXT nonetheless produces two of the most popular chassis on the market, the H440 and the S340. While innovative at the time of their release, both cases are now showing their age as they are lacking some of the key features of newer designs from other companies. The S340, which was originally brought to market in 2014, remains a hugely popular choice for custom builders, and the brand new Elite version adds some very attractive features that make it a steal at only around $100 US. The large tempered glass side panel window is the main attraction here. Especially on the white version, I think the choice to go with clear as opposed to tinted glass really pays off, as the white paint and interior really pops. The window itself is also not as thick and heavy as some used in other cases, meaning that it's much more manageable and doesn't add too much bulk to the overall enclosure. The Elite comes with an easily accessible bottom mounted dust filter for your power supply fan, as well as the detachable mounting bracket for the PSU itself. The top of the case only affords space for one 120 or 140 millimeter fan, so this means that any AIO liquid coolers larger than this will need to be mounted up front. The front panel mounting points are filtered and nicely spaced. You can mount either a 240 or a 280 mm rad up front without a problem. Airflow for the front panel fans is provided by two matching unfiltered openings at the top and bottom of the case. While this is likely not to impede the flow of fresh air, a few more openings along the sides would have been a welcome inclusion. The front panel I.O. is another part of the S340 that has undergone an overhaul. In addition to adding two additional USB 2.0 ports, NZXT has made this an attractive choice for those looking to build a VR box with the inclusion of a front panel HDMI port. Of course, in order to use this, you'll need a GPU with a similar configuration or use the included HDMI cable and route it out the back of the chassis. Of course, the S340 Elite includes NZXT's now famous cable management bar that eliminates the need for rubber grommets, but this time there's a twist. The bar now comes with sturdy pre-installed cable management clips to help keep those unruly wires in check so they don't peek out from behind their hiding spot. In addition, the case features a completely outrageous and absolutely welcome amount of cable tie-down points behind the motherboard tray. As cable management space is fairly narrow here, these tie-down points are essential if you're like me and obsess about how every part of your system looks, even with a solid side panel installed. NZXT really wants you to show off your SSDs in this case, as the PSU shroud features not one, not two, but three separate mounting points for 2.5 inch drives. The front facing sled is an addition from the S340 base model and is easily removable if you don't have anything to put here. If you're still rocking spinning hard disks, you can toss them in the non-removable cage mounted underneath the shroud. The shroud also has ventilation slats so your hard drives don't get too toasty. The motherboard tray comes with pre-installed standoffs for ATX motherboards along with a center mounted post to aid in installation and orientation. Even as someone who has installed hundreds of motherboards, I always appreciate any help I could get. The case comes with a rear 120mm exhaust fan that is adequate, although it is only one of two total fans in the case. I would imagine most people will want to replace the fans or upgrade the cooling in some way. I have a love-hate relationship with the front panel fasteners here. I love the fact that I can just grab the panel and pull it off, although it does take a little bit of force at first but I hate the fact that both side panels need to be removed before this can happen. I tried to work around this hang up, but was unable to. This is the only way to easily access the front panel dust filter, although you can try sneaking your hand inside the airflow openings. Another special feature of the Elite, and another example of how NZXT is catering to the VR crowd, is this. This is a magnetic puck that you can use to hang a VR headset if you have one. If you don't, it can be used just as effectively to store headphones. The magnets used here do an unbelievable job at keeping the puck in place and supporting whatever load you may put on it within reason, of course. The S340 Elite really is a fantastic revision of what is already an extremely ubiquitous case. The subtle changes like the cable management straps, front HDMI, and additional SSD mount are great features, and the not so subtle changes like the awesome glass window and VR puck really make this feel like a completely new product as opposed to just another point release. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.